every now and then I like to make a, a, a short video. Um, this one um, is about a book I wrote called 3 a.m. Um, I wrote it uh, about 10 or 15 years ago, but the reason I wrote the book because a lot of people work at wake up at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I have been waking up at 3 a.m. probably most of my childhood and adult life. But what's up with 3 a.m.? 3 a.m. from a spiritual point of view is called the witching hour. Uh, most hospitals experience death, um, more demonic stuff happens, more paranormal events happen. Um, in the Bible, it's considered what's called the fourth watch. There are four segments of time there from the, um, the Jewish calendar, and the fourth watch is usually in the mornings. Um, about 3 a.m. It goes for about six hours. So with that being said, are you waking up at 3 a.m.? Yeah. Well, it's a purpose that God has for you to wake up. It's beyond just getting up. There is warfare going on. There's prayer going on. Uh, 3 a.m. biblically is a time also that when Jesus was crucified, and some people believe historically that demons repeat um, the time that he was arrested and taken to the cross and hung at 9 a.m. and then, of course, um, was crucified. But the real reality of it is, is waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning is a time for prayer, a time to seek God, and a time to war for your family. If you're up, don't just get up and eat peanut butter and jelly and turn the TV on. But if you're up and you don't know why, God is calling you to prayer. Um, it's a time to be sober and humble before the Lord and to press in His Spirit. But also one thing I want to talk about in the area of warfare, that if you're waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and this is just from my history, I've studied every religion you think of, uh, from witchcraft to voodoo to uh Palomambo to uh, Santeria. I've studied all of those um, over my lifetime. I actually became a Christian studying um, biblical archaeology. With that being said, there is a, um, a lot of cocktail mixing and mixing a lot of spiritual beliefs with the Bible. And if that's you, that's between you and God. Me personally, um, when you open up those doors and portals and you begin to play around with a lot of darkness, 3 a.m. can take on a lot of different meaning for you. It's not only that you're in war for people that you're praying for, but it's also those things that you're familiar with are coming back to get you. Secondly, if you're waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and if you're not a Christian, and you can go test this if you want, but in the Bible, when the sons of Sceva try to cast out a spirit, they said, Peter we know, Jesus we know, but who are you? A lot of times when you are trying to do stuff and you're using sage, trust me, I have a Cherokee background, you're using a lot of magic and witchcraft and cards and um, metaphysics and chakras and energies, you have floated away from the Bible. Listen, the Bible is what the Bible is. Whether you believe it or not, it don't take you believing in it for it to exist.